One of the most iconic elements of the Wallace and Gromit franchise would have to be Wallace's love of cheese, which is usually proclaimed along with his signature hand gesture. Cheese! We'll go somewhere where there's cheese! But there's one particular brand of cheese that's became synonymous with the beloved characters ever since their inception in 1989. Wensley Dale. But the renowned dairy company hasn't been without its ups and downs over the years. So in today's video, we're going to be asking the question, did Wallace and Gromit save Wensleydale cheese? In 1989's A Grand Day Out, it's no secret that the entire plot is based around the old joke that the moon is made of cheese. With the dairy product subsequently forming a large part of Wallace's personality in the later films. But it's one brand in particular that is mentioned recurringly and cited by Wallace as being a particular favourite of his. This is, of course, Wensleydale. The cheese was originally produced in the 1300s by French Cistercian monks who settled in a part of Yorkshire named Wensleydale becoming a source of pride for the locals ever since, for the last few hundred years. This was all well and good until the company faced financial troubles during the early 90s. In 1992, the Yorkshire Creamery was closed, which resulted in many of the aforementioned locals losing their jobs. To add insult to injury, production of Wensleydale cheese was transferred to Yorkshire's traditional rival, Lancashire resulting in somewhat of a local uproar. So the general consensus is that the creator of Wallace and Gromit, Nick Park, rode in on his white horse at this point and saved the company from imminent collapse. When Wallace expresses his love for this particular brand of cheese in 1995's A Close Shave. But according to a representative of the company, it was in fact only six months after the creamery closed in 1992 that a management buyout took place led by a local businessman named John Gibson. This meant that cheese making soon recommenced in Wensleydale and as a result, there was tremendous support from the locals in Yorkshire as a whole. That's not to say that Wallace and Gromit didn't hugely benefit the sales of Wensleydale cheese, but from reading the fine details, you can see that it's not as straightforward as many are led to believe. The aforementioned representative states that the company's inclusion in Wallace and Gromit, quote, helped us along the way and was very welcome, but didn't save the creamery. Before adding, there's a lot of thoughts and rumours about why Nick Park chose Wensleydale, but we're just glad that the love shone through. This statement is true, as many have often speculated that Nick Park selected this brand in particular due to either their prior financial difficulties or Wallace and Gromit's close ties to Northern England. For example, Wallace's accent is derived from West Yorkshire. However, Nick Park himself stated in an interview that this was not the case, and that he simply chose Wensleydale from a list of cheese brands due to it being an interesting word to animate the character's mouth to. I can completely see where he's coming from too, as the name lends itself well to Wallace's distinct pronunciation of vowels, which makes for some memorable lines of dialogue in the final product. Not even Wensley Dale. Regardless of speculation, the Wallace and Gromit website states that international exports of Wensleydale cheese have risen by 23% since the broadcast of A Close Shave. With the company maintaining its recognition as a high quality brand ever since. So although Wallace and Gromit may not have saved Wensleydale cheese, they've without doubt propelled the company to new heights. Subsequently, a partnership was formed with Ardman Animations, resulting in special releases of Wensleydale cheese featuring Wallace and Gromit on the packaging, though the actual cheese itself remained the same. With the earliest release coinciding with The Curse of the Were-Rabbit in 2005, and the most recent in celebration of the duo's 30th anniversary. I believe these are still in production, however, the official Wensleydale Cheese website shows the product as out of stock, but I'd honestly love to get some one day and review it on the channel or something, having never had Wensleydale Cheese before. 
Some of the cheese that Wensleydale provides include real Yorkshire Wensleydale, which is their classic cheese that comes in all shapes and sizes. This is considered to be mild in strength, known for its acidic honeyed flavour. Whilst extra mature Wensleydale is the strongest cheese available, left to mature for 9 months. Blue Wensleydale is highly flavoured but less salty than other brands of blue cheese. And finally, Oak Smoked Wensleydale is cold smoke to produce a special tang and texture. Now I don't know about you, but I really want to try some of this cheese now. So all in all, it's a happy ending. As Wensleydale continues to attract fans through its exposure in Wallace and Gromit, which is now on a global scale. I think there's just something about food in a fictional world that's described as tasting so good and yet is unobtainable that makes it really desirable. Think back to the whole McDonald's Szechuan sauce malarkey. So now, any Wallace and Gromit fan that feels peckish while watching Wallace slice into the moon can Google Wallace and Gromit cheese and be met with this and be like, oh, this is a real thing. Likewise, the more people that see Wallace and Gromit plastered on blocks of cheese, the more exposure the franchise gets. So both companies benefit equally from this partnership, which is really clever, yet blatantly obvious at the same time. And it's just been brought to my attention that you can buy a huge 4.3 kilogram block of just pure cheese for £65. Uh, there's no dimensions listed, so I've got no idea exactly how big it is. But I just love the fact that you can have this thing posted to your door. I mean, hey, there's free delivery if you spend over £50. Anyway, are you a fan of Wensleydale cheese? Or can you just not stand the stuff? I'd love to hear your opinions in the comment section down below. Feel free to like and subscribe for more Wallace and Gromit content coming right at you very soon. Thanks for watching. What's wrong with Wensleydale?